What are your expectations for Lindor this year? Yeah, it's funny, guys. Two years ago, he had a rough year, and that's all we talked about, right? Last year, obviously a career year. I mean, this is a guy who went out and set franchise records at shortstop in multiple categories. And keep in mind, the highest shortstop war in all of baseball last year was Francisco Lindor. So can we expect him to have that same season? Probably not. I kind of put him in the Edwin Diaz category, right? Is he going to be able to repeat last year? Probably not. But what if he's just underneath that? I think most Mets fans would take that. I think the rest of the lineup has to get going consistently, and that will certainly help elevate him. But Francisco Lindor is going to be there. The numbers are going to be there. I think he's going to beat some of the things he's got projected only for a four war this season. I do think he's going to be better than that. But expecting this guy to be a 7-8 war guy, I think is probably unsustainable. He's going to be there. He's going to be the heart of this team. But he's probably not going to have the season he had last year. You say the heart of this team. I kind of use the word for him, the glue of this team, right? He's like what makes this team go. And so when you look at the numbers that he put up last year, I say that he needs to have that season again or even better because when you're chasing a World Series and you want to win it all, your stars have to be your stars. And when you're the glue of this team, you have to perform the way that you expect your stars perform, especially as that everyday position defensively as well. With the rule changes, shortstop, no matter what's going to be the anchor of that defense, but now just on top of it, the value of his position even just goes up. And so, yeah, I mean, I think the expectations are high from him. And, and the one thing I'll add, too, with the World Baseball Classic, you can worry about the injuries, but here's one of the positives I see. These guys who are going there, they're coming in ready. So, Lindor's already going to have played some competitive games, so I think on the hitting front, even defensively, they're going to go out there ready to just, you hope, start raking from the start. There's not really any easing into anything. I think Britt brings up a really good point. The idea that Diaz and Lindor had outstanding years, if they're 85 to 90 percent of what they were in 2022, I do think the Mets are in good shape, but at least I think it pulls down to Lindor hitting in those big spots. He did a really good job last year of driving in runs. You look at those RBI totals for Lindor, they off the charts last season. Now, unfortunately, didn't hit enough. The Mets as a team didn't hit enough in the postseason. But that's kind of where I'm looking at Lindor. He's going to have opportunities to go and boost those RBI numbers. Brandon Nimmo gets on base a ton. Starling Marte gets on base a ton. And if he's hitting in that three spot or he's hitting in that five spot, He's got to be north of 100 RBIs. But, Sal, I think we're at the point now, there's no questions about whether or not he can handle New York. We know that. It's a matter of doing it again. Yeah, and they need him to because he's one of their star players, if not the star player on the team. I know we talk a lot about Alonzo and being the power bat that he is. Lindor's right there, to your point, J.J., driving and runs. You know, the other thing, Britt, he's available. Plays every single day. Law of averages, maybe you think that maybe he misses some games. Can the Mets, Britt, sustain a down year for whatever reason from Francisco Lindor? Probably not. At least hit it on the head. He is the glue, and I do think that you no, know, he's a guy that can have an okay year, a slightly above average year. But if he has a down year, if he has that half like he did two years ago over the course of a whole season, I don't think the Mets are in good shape. Now, people are predicting the Mets to win the World Series. So if we were looking at a team that was, you know, hoping to get into the playoffs. Sure, they could deal with a down year from Francisco Lindor, but this team has high expectations. This team is entering this, the season as a World Series favorite. So can they have Francisco Lindor have a down year? Absolutely not. I think a lot of things have to go right outside of him, but make no mistake, he, in my mind, along with Verlander and Scherzer, are the things that cannot go wrong for this Mets team.